So, Paula, are there any major problems with this house? Of course not. This house is only 30 years old. What? This house was built over a hundred years ago. How could it only be 30 years old? Because 10 years after this house was built, it stopped existing for 70 years. Then, 20 years ago, it started existing again. I don't understand. This house stopped being this house when a North African family moved in, and when an Italian family moved in after them. And this house still didn't exist when a German family moved into it. But when my Uncle Floyd bought this house, then it started being this house again. Why didn't it exist when those other people lived here? Because those people drank wine, and washed their babies in the bathtub. Isn't that what they were supposed to do? I have the builder's original paperwork right here. Look at what it says. That's not what the builder meant. This is what he meant. How do you know that's what he meant? Because Uncle Floyd didn't drink wine, and he refused to bathe his kids until they turned eight. I see. But, if nobody who lived in this house did those things until Uncle Floyd came along, don't you think it makes more sense to conclude that Uncle Floyd was wrong, instead of concluding that this house didn't exist for 95% of the time people were living in it? Especially when you consider that the builder of this house said that his house would never stop existing. Did you hear what I just said? No. You stopped existing like three minutes ago. Before you buy a bungalow, you better select your itch parlor. The restoration is home inspector. Because that house, it might have disappeared like a specter. It's polar. The restoration is home inspector. Put some cash in a piece. She could spot a home that used to didn't exist. Before you buy a bungalow, you better select a it's polar. The restoration is home inspector. It's polar. This is the builder's house, and the gates of Fannie Mae will not prevail against it.